Hello guys, I hope you are doing good. Welcome to another video. Today we are going to see proxy design pattern and how to create a proxy in JavaScript. As you are aware, JavaScript is mainly built of objects and objects in JavaScript can be passed as reference and there is a high chance that we can mutate it without or unknowingly. So what proxy does is proxy acts as an intermediate tree that helps us to monitor the modification of the object so that we are 100% sure that the data that has been updated to the object or what is being read from the uh, object is under the control. That is because we are not using TypeScript and also JavaScript is not a type language so we are not sure what is being updated to the properties value. For example, let's assume that you have a property value with a name and the value of the name should be a string. But let's say unknowingly it is being updated to a number or any other data type. So that can cause bug right on the runtime. So what proxy does is in the proxy we can add the checks. It will help us as an interceptor and then in the check we can monitor what is the value that is being passed to the update and if the value is what we are expecting we can pass it forward and update the object otherwise we can throw error or we can show uh, some messages uh, so that uh, the, this is not we are expecting um, the value of this property should be a string or something like that. So let's see how to create a proxy design pattern. Let's first create an object so const obj name Prashant and then let's say age 28 and then let's say we have something else as gender as male now the value for the gender should always be one of two right if not three it should be always one of two which is male or female so uh, we want to monitor it now what happens is right now if i come to the object and let's say if i say the gender is um, three so it won't give any error right it is very flexible because it is a loosely typed language it is very flexible it does not give the error now what happens is let's say by mistake if you have updated the value you'll see that the gender has been updated as three we don't want it right it can be either of two values either it should be male or female so what we can do is we can create a proxy now how proxy works is javascript has inbuilt proxy method and it is very powerful and it is largely used in the latest frameworks and the libraries so uh, we can create a proxy using const proxied object as new proxy the first thing that proxy takes is the object that we have to monitor and the second thing is another object where we have this methods get set and then there are other bunch of methods that are available so in this what we receive is we receive the object the property for the get for the set we get the object the property and the value so all three let's say here you are updating the gender to three right so now because we have proxied rather than updating to the original object we will return this proxied object that will be updated so here you see right the set on proxy trap return false value for the property gender so here you can make sure if type of value not equals to string then we can console.log the value for this property right so i'm using template string to dynamically show the property name prop should be a string now here we can add the check if prop equals to equals to gender so 
and they should be string in double quotes and it should return a value the set should return a value so let's say return true so now if you see if i rerun this application here the gender is male only it is not updated sorry we have to print the proxy object so here you see we are getting undefined 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 that's because in the get we are not returning anything so here we can come and we can return the object and the property so we are getting all the values now the get method is working properly in the set method what we have added is we have added a check if we are updating the gender so we have to check if the type of value if it is not string then we have to show a console log so if i come back if i reload this we should get a console log the value of gender should be a string so this is what we are getting now this works as a intermediary so rather than updating the object value directly it has added a check where we can make sure that only the right values are updated to the object this way the object's mutation is under our control so the object is not directly updated we can control the object's mutation now another check you can add is um, the value should be either male or female so if i pass 3 as a string it will check uh, it will take it so if i clear this uh, the value is not updated because we haven't updated the value over here so if i say object dot prop equals to value so now if you see the set on proxy returned false -ish value so the gender is set as three because it has taken it as a string now if i change it to number we'll see the error so it should not be updated it is updated because i have added this check of updating after the if condition so what i can do is return true here and here i can add the check so if it is gender and if the type of value is not equals to string so we throw error otherwise we update the value so now you will see that it remains male so even if it is 3 it remains male and now if i change it to string 3 so it will be updated okay you we got the string 3 now if i change it to number it won't change so the value will remain male so it works on the original object the original object is modified now here we are accessing the object and we are uh, using the square bracket to update this this also uh, 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 inbuilt method called reflect that we can use so reflect dot set object property and value so this we can use to update the objects so now it has become 3 and if I change this to the normal 3 so it comes back to the mail so it is not updated so you can use reflect reflect is what it is suggested in the official doc to use so rather than returning the object like this we have to use reflect dot get and then the object and the prop So this is what suggested in the official doc and we should follow uh, the official doc only but you can also use the square bracket with the objects so uh, this is how the proxy works now uh, the use case of this is as i explained uh, we can avoid the unnecessary mutations we can control the way object is updating and it is returning the data here itself you can uh, add a control let's say if every time the age is accessed right so we can increment the value so let's say if uh, the property equals to age and if it is accessed every time what we'll do is 
will return plus 1 else will return the same value so now if i come over here if i print it twice thrice you see that it is being written as plus 1 so 29 29 and 29 and before this what we can do is we can say reflect dot set object prop then object and prop plus one and then here we can return or get the value and return it so now if i reload you'll see that on every axis the value is incremented so it becomes 29 30 and 31 so you can create an infinite counter using this proxied object so th there is bunch of use cases uh, using the proxy but i hope you have understand what the design pattern does and why we have to use it um, the only drawback is uh, this is very performance inefficient uh, so every time a proxy is created right it's uh, uh, heavy processing it takes so it uh, results in uh, very performance issues so make sure that uh, it is used widely and only when it is necessary not uh, everywhere so if you can avoid the usage of proxy as much as possible you should but uh, in case you cannot so if there is a use case for this you should use it but you should use it carefully because it can hamper the performance of the application i hope you have learned something new today thank you for your time